hi guys welcome back to the channel today we are looking at the construction of the one belmont building in new kingston jamaica this is a corporate building being built in the heart of the business district in jamaica so we're going to go through an article that talks about the construction of this building and then we'll discuss it after Prime Minister, the Most Honourable Andrew Holness, has welcomed the $3.7 billion investment in the One Belmont Corporate Building in Kingston as a further testament to the growing investor confidence in the country. The project being executed through partnership between Cygnus Real Estate Finance and Audrey Holdings Limited will deliver 79,000 square feet of Class A corporate office space supported by four levels of parking. Speaking during the groundbreaking ceremony, Prime Minister Holness said that the development is in keeping with government's focus on positioning Kingston as a premier city in the English-speaking Caribbean. We want Kingston to be the center of trade, commerce, finance, and to be the place of choice, he noted. The Prime Minister commended the developers for including environmental considerations as part of the project through hurricane resistant and energy saving features. The development located at 1 to 3 Belmont Road in New Kingston is seen as a response to the realities of the current work environment, uniting design and technology to create an architectural masterpiece with state-of-the-art features that promote the health, safety, and comfort of those who will utilize the space. It will include rooftop entertainment for corporate events, LED lighting surrounding the building, as well as a host of other unique features. Vice President and, he and Head of Real Estate and Project Finance at Cygnus Group, David Cummings, said that the building will include hurricane impact resistant glass in addition to post-pandemic features. It is being designed with a suite of technology, technological features such as touchless elevators, touchless doors, touchless cooler bathroom fixtures, and an automated infrared camera system for non-intrusive camera checks, he informed. Mr. Cummings said that Financing for the project includes a 2.5 billion construction facility from the National Commercial Bank and a further 650 million in preference shares on top of the equity via Audrey Holdings Limited. The construction is slated to be completed by April 2023. Build Your Dream Construction Limited has been awarded a contract for the works. All right, so that's the end of the article. So I'm not sure the article didn't mention how many stories or how many floors the building would be. But it's definitely a high rise building. Okay, it's going to be nine floors with four floors of parking, 310 parking spaces. It's a commercial building. And you can get more information at onebelmontja.com. Now, nine floors is good, but you have a lot of other buildings that are going up much higher, mostly apartment buildings. You have the Cambridge, which is 10 floors. You have the Rogers, which will be the tallest building in Jamaica when completed. That's 20 floors. And then you have the Ascent, which is the start construction next month, February, and that's going to be 27 floors. But these are all com uh, residential. So it's good that the Belmont is going to be commercial. Yeah, the Cambridge is residential apartments. Via the Braemar, residential. Ascent. I think Ascent is going to be a mix between residential and commercial. And the Rogers is residential. And there is a 
plan to build a 28-story building in Montego Bay. Actually, four towers that are 28 stories. And I think that's going to be corporate. I think that's going to be for call centers. So Jamaica definitely has a lot of new buildings on the way. A lot of them on the construction. So definitely is a good sign for the economy. And we'll keep you guys updated on the progress, read the construction of all these buildings that we mentioned. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day. Thank you.